size of the nucleus. The nuclear size is of the order of 10 power minus 14 meters to 10 power minus 15 meters. This is uh, the nuclear size. Generally, it is measured in the units of uh, Fermi. One Fermi is equal to 10 power minus 15 meters. That is a uh, Fermi 10 power minus 15 meters. When compared to the size of the atom, the size of the nucleus is very, very less. Uh, generally, the size of the atom is uh, of the order of 10 power minus 10 meters. You can see there is a difference of 10 power 5 between the atom and uh, nuclear size. So, uh, generally the radius of the nucleus is directly proportional to the a power 1 by 3, where is, wherein a is uh, mass number of the nucleus. For example, if we take uh, r as the radius of the nucleus, then this is directly proportional to a power 1 by 3. Here a stands for mass number. Actually, it is absurd that as the mass number of uh, the nucleus increases, its volume also increases. It implies that the volume of any nucleus is directly proportional to its mass number. Uh, let us say V represents the volume then it is directly proportional to mass number A. Now, volume nuclear is basically a, a spherical uh, shape. So, naturally volume of the sphere that is nucleus can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube, where r stands for the radius of the nucleus is proportional to A, implies that r cube is proportional to A. From that, we can say r is proportional to a power 1 by 3. That is how we got the relation radius of the nucleus is uh, directly proportional to mass number power 1 by 3. So, if you uh, replace this uh, proportionality sign with equal sign, equality sign, we will get a constant r naught. So, that is a relation between the radius of the nucleus and its mass number a. Here R naught is a constant whose value is about uh, 1.3 Fermi. Actually this R naught value is slightly varies from anything between 1.2 Fermi to 1.3 Fermi. You can take it uh, as 1.3 Fermi in this particular case. This is how we can measure the radius of any nucleus. Now we will see a problem based on this one. The radius of a nucleus with mass number 64 is 6 Fermi. Then determine the radius of a nucleus which has which has a mass number of 125. So, this is the problem you are given that uh, the radius of a nucleus with mass number 64 is 6 Fermi. You are asked to determine the radius of another nucleus which has a mass number of 125. In that, uh, we know that the radius of any nucleus is directly proportional to A power 1 by 3. For example, if I take the ratio of any two radii of any two nuclei, then R1 by R2 will be equal to A1 by A2 power 1 by 3. So, here R 1 R 2 are the radius of two nuclei 
and A1, A2 stands for the respective mass numbers. So, from that R1 by R2 can be written as that is 64 by 125 power 1 by 3 that will be obviously equal to 4 by 5. So, from that if you write expression for R2 that will become 5 by 4 of R1. Here R1 is given as a 6 Fermi that is given in the problem itself. So, you are asked to determine R2 value R2 is equal to 5 by 4 of R1 and uh, this R1 is taken as 6 Fermi from that you will get. Uh, so, from that R2 is equal to 5 by 4 multiplied by 6 Fermi that will give you 30 by 4 or 7.5 that is equal to 7.5 Fermi. That is how we can determine the radius of the nucleus using that formula.